but uh, <laughs> um, the lab is here to try and reimagine and redesign, recontextualize what do we mean by 21st century learning. And in doing so, we work with colleagues, um, students, as well, as well as external partners in trying to sort of respond to this question. And we sort of um, look at all sorts of different ideas, different technology, different pedagogies, different methodologies, in order for us to really try and push the boundaries in teaching and learning. So this is what we are trying to do today as well. So welcome to Remix Play 3. Um, this is quite an interesting summit because we started this three years ago. Um, the first Remix Play was very much around introducing um, what play is. How can we make it serious? How can it be included in the sort of work that we're doing in teaching and learning or other practices that we have in, our, uh, in the world of works, in the communities, so on and so forth. And then we decided um, the, the second installment of Remix Play uh, was very much, around, uh, very much around how we could actually um, think about playful inspirations as part of co-creativity. How can we co-create? How can we work together with people who are from different backgrounds? And how can we ensure that what we're doing has got meaning and purpose? And that sort of leads to this year's Remix Play. Remix Play 3, which is looking at social innovation. How can we look at playful inspiration that could inform the way we innovate in the society, innovate in the world, the world of works, and how can we contribute to the community. So this is something that we are very much interested in. And why play? Everyone knows what play is. But to us, if it's working, play is very much around the autonomy that we have, the freedom that, that, that we have in, in, in exploring, in experimenting, the agency that we have to respond to new challenges, it's all about being open to new imaginations, to new things, to new ideas, and not being afraid to really fail in doing so, because we can learn from failure, and all fantastic ideas in the world comes from failures, because we learn through iteration, everything's incremental, and by doing so, you will learn from people around us as well. So this is something that we are very much interested in, and hopefully we could actually explore this today. Um, social innovation is something that we are very much interested in, because it is very important for us to uh, think about exploring research, practice, development in the wild. How can we ensure that whatever that we are teaching in our classroom, whatever we are doing in our uh, own practice, will contribute to the society, would contribute to the community, and how this could actually impact our sense of belonging as well. We always believe in the sense of ownership in the process that we do, and we believe that play can allow you to do this, to make you be more open with not only um, doing new things in, in, in different ways, but to also um, uh, to encourage you to really interact with those around you from different backgrounds. Um, this is what we are trying to push at the university, and we are also doing it beyond the university into other countries. And you will see uh, some of the case studies today, which will be uh, able to provide some indication of how we can innovate together and how can we break this barrier between us and the community and the society. And this links to the fact that 21st century learning is what everyone is talking about. We have been talking about this for so many years. We focus on to know, which is the knowledge itself. Right, that's fine. We, we are starting to do active learning and applying knowledge, which is to act, right? But the third one is something that we really want to push. What is the actual value of what we're doing in terms of our teaching and learning or the different practices that we are doing? Because I believe that there are some of you who are actually in the um, uh, 
city council, some of you are social enterprise, some of you are actually um, working in, uh, in Coventry as well as beyond, and we've got guests from Europe as well. So we all have this question on the value of what we do in terms of not just teaching and learning, but the practice that we, we do. And we are like raindrops, as this is a good theme to have because it's been raining for the past few days. Um, I'm trying to take inspiration from that and not whinging, about, not whinging about it as much, but to try and use it in a positive way. We are all raindrops. No matter how small we are, we can make a difference. And what is interesting about rain is that together, the raindrops can actually create storms. You can change landscape, you can nurture the forest. Hopefully that we, we were able to replicate that. So if you would like to amuse me for a few seconds, if you like to try something with me, um, if you tap your finger, right, palm, that sounds like rain is about to come, right? Try with two fingers. Right. Try with three. Four. Right. Start with back to three. Back to two. Back to one. And none. So this is what we're talking about. Together, we can make a difference. <coughs> Our voice can get louder. Uh, we, can, we can really do something together, regardless of where we come from. So I believe, we believe that play can provide that space that will allow us to be able to be creative together and be able to be comfortable with one another. And uh, so hopefully that today, we have so many speakers from different parts of the world, from Canada, from Malaysia, case studies from Brazil. Um, we've got uh, our, our friends from London, who is actually doing a lot of work with the refugees. So we have so many different examples that we can look at today. And the breakout sessions as well, as you, can, you, can, you can see all the different types of um, solutions which have been created to raise awareness on different topics. So these are the things that I hope, I really hope that you guys will, will, will take inspiration from. So that will be your playful inspiration uh, for social innovation. Thank you very much.